In this section, we will build on the knowledge from the previous section, where we looked at the fundamentals of structuring and building a chart. We will look at the extra options that can be used to build more advanced charts. We start by developing tooltips, label and string formatting. Tooltips can display useful information about a data point in the graph when a user hovers the mouse over that point, such as how to style a tooltip, creating custom tooltips and adding content to tooltips. We then look at ways to style and format labels and strings. We'll examine how plot lines and plot bands are used to help a user focus on an important region of a chart. We'll also see how to zoom in on a chart. This is useful for the user who wants to examine part of a chart's data series in more detail by zooming on a chart region. We then look at 3D charts, seeing how to format and create 3D column charts, 3D pie charts, and 3D scatter charts examples. We move on to animation and how this feature can be enabled and how we can use different animation types that are available. Finally, we look at how we can have several data series in one chart. In this video, we'll look at tooltips, labels and string formatting. Tooltips are a great way to provide information about a user interface feature or an item in the drawing area for instructions on what to do next. Often, information can be very dense in a chart and tooltips provide a way to reveal necessary information when the user interacts with the chart. Because the coding used to enable tooltips is similar to the code used to describe the labels and string formatting, we will also cover those features in this video. If we want specific information about a data point on a data series, we can move our mouse over a data point and get some information about that particular data point. A tooltip appears when hovering over a data point in a chart. The tooltip shows the values of the point and the name of the series. Let's look at an example. Here we have the code to describe our tooltip. The point format setting describes the series.name variable, which picks up the series names. In this example, they are grp1 and grp2. The point.y variable then picks up the data from each of the series. For those that recognize HTML, you should recognize these tags are basic HTML tags. This closing bracket B bracket tag says format the variable with a bold setting. And this br forward slash tag starts a new line. Next, we specify the background color. We give the tooltip data as data format suffix of cm, which stands for centimeters. I've also added a border width and border radius to style the tooltip. Finally, I have a shared setting. When the tooltip is shared, the entire plot area will capture mouse movement. Let's take a look at how we can format strings and labels in our charts. Format strings are templates for labels, where variables are inserted. Let's look at a few examples. In this example, we'll be adding units to y-axis label. Here, we specify how we are going to format our labels using the point format setting. The variables are inserted within the curly bracket notation. In this case, the variable value represents the values of the y axis. Each label generated is then appended the suffix mm millimeters. What it's saying is format this point so that the y value the variable value represented by the y-axis point dot y is set to two decimal places as represented by the dot to f configuration after the colon symbol. Note the point format allows some HTML to also be included. We can see in this example the HTML tags for format bolding the text for the label in the tooltip. We've come to the end of this video. We've covered how tooltips are constructed and how they can be styled. 
we've also looked at how labels can be formatted for data use. In the next video, we will focus on the plot bands, plot lines, and zoom features.